Hi, it's Sam from EMP, um, by the main stage with uh, friend John from Master's Call. How you doing, man? You all right? I'm good, I'm good. Surviving the uh, the wind and the rain, but all good. Yeah, it's been quite fun, hasn't it? At least you're playing outside today. So you're, you're headlining, aren't you, one of the smaller stages tonight? Yeah, it's headlining the New Blood stage at 7.30, so yeah. Looking Not forward? It's going to matter because you've got to post this first and then... Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah this is coming up post-event. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's going on later. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to be there. I'm going to look, I'm look forward to it. You guys just dropped an EP, didn't you? Not so long, right? Yeah, it's a three-track EP and um, dropped the EP and... Uh, it's just a culmination of like, you know, all of us have been in previous bands and still in bands as well for the past 15 years. So it's just a culmination of all those efforts to this. But none of it, if you're in a band and it goes up and down, you can't see any of the downs as a failure. It's just, a, it's the road to wherever, so. Okay, so for the people that might not know you, how would you describe Master's Call? Oh, the only way I can describe is heavy metal blackened by death. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. That's it. Yeah. So That EP's blinding, man. It, Thanks. It really is. No, thank you. Cheers. It's, it's, uh, it's one of those things, so many influences and, and um, you know, it, I just might as well spit the name, eh? it's just like, it's fucking Judas Priest, you know what I mean, it's just, <laughs> it's just that, that influence alone is enough, you know what I mean, and just to see them as all the guys now and just like, look, there it is, yeah. you know what I mean, and so that's why in our music we have, you know, you can have the elitist and things like that that sort of shy away from catchy things in the metal, but like that sort of inspires us to create choruses. You know, like the Spire Cranes, it's, everybody keeps chanting that one, but it's like, it's a bit of a nightmare for me because I writ the fucking thing and now on the album it's the benchmark to either do one as good or better, so it's a, it's a good pressure. But uh, <laughs> That's the kind of pressure you want, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're only as good as uh, today or yesterday, you know, so everything's got to be the next step up. It's a, way of, it's a way of creating that stuff in an extreme music genre, which is, can go in any direction you want. As you know yourself, it's, it's crazy, but it's fun. It is, uh, it is. And if you do anything that's slightly different, people react interestingly towards that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you get pulled up on it quick time, but the thing is, it's not, that's never sort of a second thought because if you if it becomes a second thought you're not doing it right you just just do it because that sounds fucking nice and then yeah uh, even if everybody hated it we'd still be doing it so <laughs> <laughs> that's the right way to do it yeah it's the right way you know as long as you believe in it that's all that matters as a writer that's how i see it anyway so you know I write, I write stuff that i like and then if other people like it that's cool that's but yeah the amount of bands and people you know guys in bands that i've seen that have just sort of call it called it a day and dropped their instruments that's when you've failed there isn't an actual point to get to but it's, once you stop and just drop your instrument for that reason it's like why so yeah don't give up if you're a musician don't give up just keep going keep going no. it, it's it's like you, then you can see it's like you need to treat it as a um, you let loose you know what I mean in here yeah. in that if you don't treat it like that then that's when it becomes a problem so like yourself and whatnot you kind of we need to do it yeah. I have to I have no choice <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so the EP's out. What is there anything else planned for next year? Maybe. Oh man, we got um, this. The, I mean, we're very grateful for the reception we got after the three tracks to you know get to this point. So we're going to keep the momentum going. There's already in the set tonight. There'll be new songs um, that are going on the album. The album's got to be released latest by February next year. It's got to be just to keep the momentum going. I mean, I can't say who it is, but I'm in talks with a certain guitarist from a certain very well-known band for um, a bit of a three-weekend run across the UK, as I, I'd really love to say, but I can't. I can't. But yeah, but let's just say uh, they're... You can tell me later. I'll tell you later, yeah. <laughs> they're very, very well-known. <laughs> no, that's awesome, man. Yeah, that's, that's in talks, and then uh, there's... Um, uh, there's this, uh, an independent festival in the Netherlands that we're on uh, talks to as well to get in into uh, that I've done with another band that I'm in um, earlier, earlier, well, late last year. But I'm trying to get Masters Call on there, and also talks to the guys in Covenant Festival over in Vancouver, which I played before. But trying to get to Masters Call over oh, too okay. as well. Yeah, that's so cool. yeah. yeah, so it's all it's to say you you do all these years and you keep the contacts and make the friends. It all culminates. So. Yeah. It just takes one thing and then it's like a domino effect and then you just books and you books and you books and you books. So yeah, that's cool. No, I wish you all the best with that, man. I really do. Yeah. Thank you ever so much for your time as well. Cool. Thank you.